It is day nine of the imminent Christmas advent calendar. It is time once again to get some trading cards to commemorate the day of the month of December in 2022. And it wouldn't be correct if we didn't start with the Pokemon calendar. So yesterday we got the promo out of the way. Uh, I am being very harsh. It wasn't in as bad condition, to be fair. So I'm not really as sort of upset with that. Right. And let's see if I can do, like, the correct... Actually, I'm going to keep 9 there, just so I can see tomorrow that it is 9 that I did. Uh, I know, technically... Ooh, 10 is really small. Okay, um, I'll be getting onto that tomorrow, I guess. Uh, today, though, we do have a pack of Chilling Rain. Uh, quite appropriate, I suppose, because, you know, it's, it's chilly in December. Uh, you know, it is it is very chilly, actually. Um, I can barely feel my fingers whilst filming this, because it's cold. Uh, right, Chilling Rain is not the hypest of sets. I mean, th there's cool cards in it, for sure. Um, you know, there's like secret rares and stuff, but generally speaking, eh, it's fine. Let's see if we can pull some heat, though. Oh, we got water, I didn't even guess that energy. We've got a Spiral Energy, very cool. Hey, Peony from the um, Crumb Tundra DLC. We've got Leron. Hey, Hatena, very cute. I've seen these cards so many times now. We've got Rockruff in the snow, very appropriate for this time of year. Got a Shepherd, Single Strike Shepherd specifically. We've got a Fast, uh, a fast Form, a Cast Form uh, Snowy Form. Very, it's such a cute Pokemon. Useless, but very cute. Uh, we have a Ghastly. Our reverse is a Dugtrio. Don't think I've seen this before. Is this like... This must be a rare, I guess. They've just never pulled before. I, looking at that art, that's really cool. That's like really cool Dugtrio art, actually. Can we end on something hype? No. Uh, it is Gorduck. Cool. Well, right. Let's move on to the box. Alright, we started pretty mid so that we can end on something hype. Uh, let's grab... Oh, okay. It is a Lost Origin pack. Uh, featuring that new... That new genie. I can't remember her name now. Uh, but she featured in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, starting with a Pokemon pack, I don't think we've done this before actually. We typically start with like something else and end on Pokemon. So we're doing two packs today. Can we do three? I mean, we're going to do three packs, I suppose, just not necessarily of Pokemon. And I guess electricity energy today. I was wrong. It is fire. Right, well, we got two chances for cool stuff here. We've got, we got Mian Shell. Uh, Lake Acuity. Ah, I remember that. You got to like... Come up the, the, the big uh, the big waterfall, and that's where one of the lake trio lived back in the day, I guess. You got Nuzleaf. Ah, a little Leo. Uh, he's on ice, I think. He's, he's slipping, because he's not used to it. Another Ghastly. Uh, a different Ghastly, obviously. <laughs> We've got a slightly derpy clay ducklet there. Hey, a Hisuian Zorua. I don't think I've... Pulled this card before. Actually, yeah, no, Lost Origin, I've not opened many packs of, so that wouldn't make sense. We've got a Binacle, very cool. Uh, we didn't get a Trainer Gallery, but we did get a Reverse Honol Blip Bug. I'm kind of digging our art, that's very cute. And our rare. <gasps> Yo, let's go! It's Hisuian Zoroark V Star. Okay, this is the pull, man. This is really cool. Okay, wow, I think in terms of like rarity and stuff, this is the best pull so far of all of the imminent uh, Christmas Advent card in there. V-Stars are pretty cool, right? I'm going to go sleeve this quickly. Oh, look at that card. That is beautiful. Oh, that more than makes up for our chilling rain disappointment. Next up is... Oh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh pack again. Uh, we are... I think we're hitting them daily now, which does make sense, because I'm pretty sure there's 24 of them. Uh, so that would make a lot of... Oh, no. That would make a lot of sense why we're seeing a lot of them. Uh, right. 
let's begin with Drill Synchron. So uh, this is a Synchron monster, I do believe, like Synchro Summoning. I'm guessing it's linked to that. We've got Survival of the Fittest. Wow, that... What is going on in that art? That needs a lot more context. There's like a robot dinosaur. We've got the Golden Apples, despite the fact there's there's only one there. We've got Ritual Beast Return. Very cool. Something about bringing beasts back from the graveyard, probably. We've got a Striping Partner. Pa partner. Okay, it's like a cyber dog. That's cool. Which is a store in London I've been to before. Uh, Bug Emergency. I think you can call someone out for that, actually. Uh, we've got Water Magician. Oh, and that's picking that up as a face on the camera. I feel like I've seen this card before, but I could be wrong. We've got Twilight Ninja Nichirin the Chujin. Chunin, not Chujin. Okay, that's a very, very long card. That's a ninja, obviously. we got Three Strikes Barrier. Three Strikes and you're out. We've got Vampire Grace, a kind of... Uh, Victorian goth vampire, I guess. Ooh, and our rare is Nightmare Mermaid. Sorry, that was really hard to read for some reason. Uh, she is a Link monster. That is really cool, actually. I do like Link monsters. Um, they just they've got a really nice aesthetic. I like the blue and uh, all the stuff there. But yeah, right. Well, that wraps up our video for today. You know what? Probably one of the best videos I think I've done. Uh, I know it started kind of meh and it didn't necessarily end on any hype, but uh, I will take a Hisoian Zoroark V-Star any day. I love the design of this Pokemon. Uh, right, anyway, I'll uh, head off now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys for tomorrow, the big one zero, one zero kind of. Um, yeah, and until then, goodbye.